What do all of my favorite games of 2018 all have in common? Atmosphere, scale, and emotion. But not in the most obvious of places. In their own right, these experiences are visual, technical achievements worth celebrating. Whether on the small screen or in full HD glory, they all achieve impressive visual feats. However, the atmosphere, scale, and emotion I'm talking about is through their music. In Hollow Knight, Team Cherry perfectly captures the key feature of Metroid-inspired adventure games, mood and atmosphere. The sonic scapes of hollowness drip with ambiance, transporting you to a world populated by desolate, lush, and somber environments. Very few games have been able to instill in me such a variety of feelings. This is in part due to the stellar sound design and perfectly peppered music throughout its campaign. Speaking on scale, experiencing the visuals and music of Spider-Man and God of War was one of the highlights of 2018. In Insomniac's take on the wall crawler, composer John Passiano creates a score truly worthy of a blockbuster superhero outing. With triumphant swells and sweeping movements, the score feels like a perfect mixture of the Danny Elfman score from the early 2000s Spider-Man films mixed with Alan Silvestri music from the Avengers films. It makes you truly feel like you're swinging over the rooftops of New York City as the friendly neighborhood webhead. When speaking about scale, it's impossible not to mention Sony Santa Monica's sequel slash reboot of God of War. Bear McCreary had the gargantuan task of following the amazing music of Gerard Marino in the previous entries of the series. And boy, did he not disappoint. The score for God of War feels massive at times, carrying the heft and weight of the treacherous journey Kratos and Atreus are on. It's also incredibly intimate and emotionally stirring in its quieter moments. This game and its father-son story of grief, transformation, and bonding resonated with me on so many levels. However, the emotion I felt in God of War was completely different from the emotion I felt playing Xenoblade Chronicles 2 and Wolfenstein 2 The New Colossus. Say what you will about Xenoblade's at times cringeworthy anime-inspired voice casting. The music is fantastic in the game. Taking a play out of Japanese power metals book, the music instantly energizes you with its silly yet awesome Power Rangers-esque musical arrangements. While Wolfenstein the New Colossus on Switch blasts electronically infused metal pieces that propel your Nazi slaughtering journey forward. Not much more can be said about Mick Gordon's ability to create music that makes you want to rip and tear through your enemies. The music encourages you to embrace your inner rage in the best possible way, with its crunchy, glitchy guitars, samples, and driving rhythm section. The music is also capable of eliciting chuckles, with parody tracks like Change Over Day. 2018, for me, was one of the best years I've ever had personally. It was a year that brought personal growth, inspiration, and creativity, all of which was supported by these wonderful games. Here's to a new year of sonically inspired experiences. Here's to a new year of more opportunities to be inspired by great works of art like these games. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. <laughs>